Police simultaneously carried out searches at two South End residents on April 22nd. The search of both marijuana growing operations revealed about $1.5 million in drugs. The Greater Sudbury Police Service has been involved in a lengthy uh, investigation involving members of our Drug Enforcement Unit as well as members of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Ontario Provincial Police in relation to two residences that were being used to, um, as marijuana grow operations. Yesterday we successfully executed warrants at those two residences and, and seized a substantial uh, quantity of uh, marijuana and uh, also resulted in three individuals being arrested uh, and charged in relation to those offences. A 39-year-old Brampton man was arrested at the Algonquin Road residence, while a 38-year-old man and 33-year-old woman, both from Toronto, were arrested in the residence on Armstrong Street. All three were charged with possession of a controlled substance, possession of a controlled substance for the purpose of trafficking, and theft of electricity. The one residence uh, netted uh, 1,000 marijuana plants, which is the largest single marijuana grow operation uh, that we've been able to shut down for a single residence. Uh, in total, we've taken 1,500 plants from those two residences, so it's a very substantial uh, investigation, very substantial uh, seizure uh, regarding uh, a marijuana grow operation. These weren't the only drug raids in the Greater Sudbury area. In the same day, Warren OPP searched a home in the Marks Day Warren area, seizing 899 marijuana plants, with an estimated street value exceeding $899,000. The majority of the drugs will be burnt. We've sent uh, samples to uh, uh, CFS to get analyzed. and. Uh, the the other property will, uh, depending on uh, what we've seized, we've seized other property inside the residence and uh, that will go to asset forfeiture.